You grew up with God in the house. Yeah. And what is this I'm hearing about Scien Scientology? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I I I've learned from many disciplines. I grew up in the Church of God in Christ. Uh -huh. Um, I I became Muslim at one time as well. You know? And that was probably during Malcolm X. Uh, no, that's actually before Malcolm. Did you oh, change okay. your name and everything? Uh, I did have. I actually have a Muslim. I had a well. I still they still what, call what me it? Lukman. Which is why. Look, 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 and I learned a lot, you know, from that. And I'm sure that Muhammad Ali, just watching him over the years, and, and because he was a big idol of mine, that had a lot of influence on that. Mm -hmm. But and, and but I learned from that, you know, and, and Scientology. I learned from friends who were Scientologists. They took me by there. And a lot of this stuff about, you know, we've been damaged as children. You know, there's so much damage that's been done to us. And while mm -hmm. we react a certain way, I believe it's true. You don't have to take it all, but I think there's a lot you can learn from L. Ron Hubbard and Scientology that could just mm -hmm. help you with your mental state. We see what the kids are like. We were saying about the dropout rate, the se the promiscuity, mm -hmm. the violence. They have programs that can help. They're not into drugs, so it's not that I, you know, I'm, I'm like people. Say, are you a Scientologist? I do. I like. A lot of what they're saying, okay. yeah, I really do. Yeah. Um, and you have a philosophy: get rid of dead weight. Oh yes, oh yes, man. That's the that's the number one thing that kills us. Because imagine if you just had dead bodies on your body. Let's say if, if you had carried that, you were you're gonna get sick. You're gonna mm -hmm. die, mm -hmm. and that's what that is. When you have that mentally, that's what they're doing to you. They're killing your spirit. So now, and who, describe, who, yeah, describe friends, dead weight. Friends, okay, when I said dead weight, there are people who are negative who do not believe in your dreams. They're always negative. They say something attack. Like I had those friends when I said I want to become an actor. They went, they were laughing at me. You know, they would make fun of they, me. They don't believe in themselves, no. so they can't believe no, in you. They don't believe in themselves, so they yeah. attack me. So, and they didn't know. I didn't know what came over me. All of a sudden, a friend gave me Think and Grow Rich, Three Magic Words by U.S. Anderson, uh, Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, and they were saying, you got to get rid of. Mm -hmm. If you don't, that's the strong, that's the most awesome thing you can do mm -hmm. and revolutionary thing you can do in your life because you grew up with these friends. Mm -hmm. You know, their mothers and their fathers and their sisters, and that means when you get rid of the friend, you know, the mom and all, they're going to side with him. So you got to get ready, but they all going to think Ernie has changed. Even families. Even families. And I had, yes, it could be. His... Sometimes I notice your friends will do more for you than your family will. Hello. Hello. I had cousins, and I, I even talked about that. Now, my mother is my best friend, but she did not believe in the acting thing. So I had to politely tell my mother, Mom, as much as you love me. Don't call me no more. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't you ever. Call me again. <laughs> Mom, uh, you know my number? Don't use it. <laughs> you brought me in this world, but I will take you out. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. No, but I had to tell her that as much as she loved me, she could never love me as God loves me. And God put this on my heart, and it disturbed everybody. I'm talking about I was one man against the entire world. My church of God in Christ, and now they have Denzel and all that, and then Stephen Wonder. But when I was in the church of God in Christ in the 70s, they did not, you're going to hell. And Denise Williams mm -hmm. and I were both, we were in this, her past, her grandfather was my past. So they were, she was going with Stephen Wonder. I became, got almost happened. We were both going to hell. So I had to divorce the church of you God going in to Christ. Hell for, just for being an actor? Yeah, because they believe be in the world, but not of the world. Mm. So oh, I had okay. to divorce even my church, even my pastor, the missionaries. Like, okay, God, I feel so vulnerable. I'm crying at night because mm -hmm. I feel like, uh, uh, God, why do you put this on my heart to become this actor? And everybody disagrees with you. Everybody disagrees with you. And so, you know, you got to give me some sign that this is going to work. And then God will give me signs, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that, you know, I would, I would took a class, got an A in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 they said a guy who's, oh, he's racist. He don't hire that director. He's racist. And then I go there. He hires me. You know there what I mean? There you go. That's one thing Those that, you know, signs, I, right? I'm, yeah. I'm learning is don't stop yourself. Let uh -huh. someone else stop you. Um, speaking of which, you got another philosophy. Yeah. Uh, you got philosophy just <laughs> drop out the sky. What a cross, cross that off. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm starting to think you're a philosopher. <laughs> well, you know, I'm about my book on philosophy. It comes out this fall. And so one, of, so one of them is there's no rules. No, there are no rules. And Muhammad Ali gave me that one. He gave me that when I was whining because the show had been canceled. What's happening had been canceled. And I'm like, yeah. he said, well, why can't you get another show? I said, well, you know... You know, I got to meet you know the president or the people that got, but you can't get an appointment. He said, "Why can't you?" Well, you got to call in, and that's the way that that's the rules. And he said, "That's when he told me there are no rules. If you're not hurting anybody, he said, just go there, just go there. You got to smile. Say you're an actor. Act like, hey, I'm here to see the president. You know, and that's that's what I did, which brought on what's happening now." I wrote my treatment, but he gave me the courage, and I was so scared, you know, thinking, what if I get my face broke, well, you know, what if they front me off, uh -huh. but the guy at the gate didn't even question it, so Ali was right, all that time, those years, you know, uh, that I waited, you know, because it, it was seven years. But the time must have been right at that and, moment. And that's true, I think that's what, it, and I, I needed someone like <clears throat> him to meet him, someone bigger than life, uh -huh. I have to say like that. Uh -huh. To just tell me, like, no, you don't understand. He, he, he loved what's happening. I'll leave with him. Do you laugh? Ah! And so I do the laugh. <laughs> he would just die, and you know. So he was. He's. I'm. He don't watch TV, but I like. He like what's happening. So he said, "I know you'll get another show, but you got to stop feeling sorry for yourself." And he said, "That's what pissed him off." He did. He said, "I'm not gonna have that." So we're going to go down this corner. We're going to go on the street corner of Compton, South Central. We go there and we sign autographs for the people. And I said, oh, why are we going over here? Because God blessed us. That's why you're going over there. You're going because you are blessed. You know what I mean? He'd take a seat of Sinai. And we're going to go in there and talk to the cancer patients and cheer them up. You know? And it just reminded me of giving mm -hmm. back. He yeah. said, so it got to be that joint thing of giving back while you're asking God for something. You're appreciating and showing God your gratitude by giving back to those who are really suffering. And you be a, a kid with cancer, uh, with, you know, with chemotherapy, with no hair, just so smiling, dying, and still happy to see you. And I really thank God for him that he made me see that I can be impactful. Our young girl, Latasha Egan, she was waiting for a heart transplant. And they said that she had been despondent and all that. So I brought the rod to glasses in there with me. And the, her mother, grandmother, all of them just could not believe that she responded to the glasses. That meant something to her. She did not talk, but she looked up and, saw, and that triggered something. Mm -hmm. And I took them off and let her, you know, uh, touch them and feel them. We took pictures. She passed because they, they, she was on the waiting list. She was 19 years old. But they said she had a smile, you know what I mean? Yeah. The thing is, I, got, I brought a smile to her face. So here's someone, you know, terminally ill, and I'm complaining about, oh, I need a, I need a new show. And, mm -hmm. oh, oh, poor but not me. only are you giving, but you're also getting in return. <sighs> because that feeling that you feel, I mean. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Yeah. It's nothing you, you, like yeah. knowing that you're affecting people mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. It's a wonderful feeling. I mean, he yeah. has he feels that way all the time yeah. whenever I come around. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I the best thing ever happened. I know before the show, you were telling me the best thing ever happened to Ross. You know. <laughs> There we and go. how he's hey, learning, he a lot of how he's learning, he, a lot of <laughs> he taught him, how much you taught him, and I can see that, I really see No, no, it's all the way around. No, actually, she said you taught her a lot, yeah. uh, you know, actually. Yeah. Well, you know, I try to do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you talked about trying to get that show. Yeah. And people actually thought you was crazy, because you was going on and on they trying to talk about my getting man, this show absolutely. I lost my agent. My manager told me, Ernie, if you can't, if you don't stop this line of thinking, man, I'm gonna have to let you go. <laughs> man, you can understand from their point of view. And, and he, they're not believing right. in you, but not, you can't believe in I believe, and you. even Shirley and Fred Berry, Rerun, uh, Haywood, Dwayne, all I'm like, E, it's over, baby. <laughs> we had a good run. We made history. Let it go. You know? Uh -huh. And then one guy from the Jeffersons, this writer, because I had done the Jeffersons, that was my first show I did, so I went to him, like, could you help me write it? He says, uh, Ernie, uh, honestly, Amos and Andy would come on first before they bring another one's happening. 
And that really, like, pissed me <laughs> off. I'm going to do a letter writing campaign. I'm going to have people sign a signature thing. And, and Mayor Hatcher was the first one that signed it in Gary, Indiana. He was the only one that signed it. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I had hope. I had one signature. You know what I exactly. mean? So what, and, what gave you that drive? What kept you motivated? Well, being around Ali helped. You know what I mean? And getting touched back to the spiritual thing, like, you know, remembering if thou canst believe all things are possible. John 14, you know, what I have done, you're going to do greater than this. Jesus says very clearly mm -hmm. that if this, is an, this is a miraculous faith that we have. You have to have an incredible faith to have these things that you're asking God for. But he said, if you do it in my name, mm -hmm. I'm going to give it to you. So I, I got back to that belief that that if I that speak it into existence and Ali reminded me that's who I really am mm -hmm. but I have been beaten up from the the show being canceled it really devastated me and I forgot I had made the show God to me when mm -hmm. I think about it yeah. you know and forgot who who the God is because even one of the guys at Columbia uh, had gone over and I was telling him about it and he says uh, Ernie, the chances of, you know, you know, the only way that can happen is like, uh, I said, well, Frank Sinatra came back. And he said, yeah, but you, he has what you don't have. He's, he had the Godfather. I said, well, I have God, the Father. Yeah, and he know. turned <laughs> beat red. He got oh, yeah. so pissed off, you know what I mean? Yeah. But 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 that, it, and it happened, you know, the entertainment tonight, all I'm like, you know, it was, first time, it was unprecedented for a show to be off that long and come back. So I do believe, man. I and, know and that it God. And it for how many years? It ran for three years. Three we years. brought Martin Lawrence. We brought we we introduced the world to Martin Lawrence. Wow. You so know. You, so you gave that put that hope for everybody else. Every, and oh, absolutely. And I love to see new talent. That's why I love telling kids. I don't care, man. If you be, I don't care if your mama on crack. You could be bigger than Denzel, bigger than Tom Cruise. I tell them all. I mean, I, that I do know. Mm -hmm. If you dare to believe and take a leap of faith, man, and have that incredible faith. And that becomes your reality. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Please. Everything else melts. Everything else. And just you melts. have that intention, that positive yes, intention. Yes. Yes. You know? and, and dead weight. Get rid. No. Can't have that dead weight though. Mm -hmm. Right. Can't have that. That's self defeating. Yeah. So, to basically telling the kids, don't call their mama no more. <laughs> 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 they don't believe it. Yeah, yeah, mama. Look, mama. You got. <laughs> mama, you got the stuff. <laughs> Yeah. But now I say, you know, when it is your parent, because someone said, well, what if it's your mother and your father? I said, you got to be polite. Be respectful. Mm -hmm. And so, Mama, I respectfully disagree with you, and I'm going to travel this path, and I'll wait. God has my back, and God is not done with me yet. So I'm going to do, listen to God right now, and I'm going to have to, when you're ready, you let me know. Yeah. So you said Muhammad Ali loved your laugh. Yes.